Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with Let's Play Fallout 3, Episode 10, Part 6. Yeah, 6. In this one, we're going to talk to Dr. Roger. Braun. You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. I am slightly impressed. Oh, thanks. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. I did what you wanted. Now you have some explaining to do. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? Where's my father now? He's here, and he is unharmed. He has merely been rendered unable to bother me. How do I know you're not lying to me? Maybe I haven't seen him at all. Oh dear, now you don't even believe me. How disappointing. Why would I? I assure you, James and I talked at length before you arrived. Now let's continue before I grow bored with you. Man, I'll bonk you with this rolling pin. Oh, great. Now, you know what? I'm not agreeing to anything before you tell me what it is. Attempting to maintain the illusion of control, are we? How quaint. Very well. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. Do something unique, something unexpected. Surprise me. I don't want to do this, but I will. Of course you will. And you never know. You might enjoy it. Now, you know, I've never done this before. So I just want to see what happens. You can't do that here. And now you have to pay. I think I'm going to die. Yep. Well, there we go. That's what happens if you hit her in the head with the rolling pin. So here we are back here. Now we have to have the same conversation. Da, 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 da. You have turned out to yeah, be shut up. We've already said, heard I this. Am. Shut up. I, no, I did what you wanted. Now you have some explaining to do. You have a yeah, shut up. Seriously, where's my father now? He's How do I know you're not lying to me? Uh I'm not agreeing to anything before you tell me what it is. I'd I don't want to do this, but I will. Of course you will. No, I won't. So, we have to kill Mabel Henderson. But at least, th this is all a simulation, right? This is all a simulation. We're not really killing her. She's not dying in reality, right? Right? Come on, give me something, people. Simpson, no. Oh, wait. Simpson, then that's... Maybe it's over here that... No. And... Is it this one? Is that the abandoned house? That's the abandoned one. Dithers, no. Henderson. Let's see what sort of things we can come up with. She's got a robot. The Henderson estate is in tip-top shape, young master. Have a wonderful day. The radio is silent. Controls for her robot. Disable security screening, initiate security program. Well, start cleaning. Got an oven. We can fiddle with the pilot light. Good day. Hi. And, oh, that's a roller skate. Good afternoon. So, we can make her Slip on a roller skate and tumble down the stairs. Turn on her stove and get blasted into an, an explosion. Or have her robot kill her. Let's do the stove. Good afternoon. Shut up. Good day. Put it with the pilot light. Good day. Oh, right. hi there. I heard you bake really tasty pies. Can you make one for me? Well, sure I can, sweetie. Let me just go light the oven to get it warming up. I don't want to be too...
seems close. No! Can I loot her corpse? No. <laughs> the simulation prevents you from tampering with the body, though the fire removed one of her legs. Bloody mess works even in the simulation, it seems. Oh, Mabel. Always good for a laugh. Appliances certainly can be dangerous, can't they? Mm. You are most resourceful, and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. I'm glad you're so happy. And now, we come to the last tasks that I have for you. Succeed. And you shall be granted whatever you wish. You're forcing me to do things against my nature, and I hate you for it. I don't recall asking for your feelings on the matter. Mm. If it has not been made perfectly clear to you, I am in control here. I dictate your actions, and the actions of those around you. You will continue to do exactly as I say, or you will find yourself suffering from a sudden and inexplicable aneurysm. Like when I clubbed you? <laughs> and that's if I'm feeling generous. For now, though, you will become the pint-sized slasher. You will kill everyone in Tranquility Lane, and you will do this because I say so. Behind the abandoned house, in the doghouse, are a knife and mask. You will use them to terrorize the residents of this quaint little street. Who the hell is the pint-sized slasher? He is a figure of myth, born of old campfire stories. You will make him a reality. The residents will know you and they will fear you. When they have all been eliminated, return to me. These people, they don't deserve to be punished. I am afraid you're not in a position to decide what they do or do not deserve. They are under my control, not yours. Now, if you're done attempting to change my mind, let's get on with your final task. After completing it, you will be free to go. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you have a few things you should be collecting? Get the knife and the mask from the doghouse. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to show off at least what you do to get out of here. Here in the abandoned house, you've got a bunch of objects. Broken radio, glass pitcher, cinder block, uh, garden gnome, and Nuka-Cola empty bottle. And you have to hit them in the exact right order. Damn. Well, anyways, that's what you have to do to get out of here, but, you know, playing as a good character for so long has uh, driven me a little bit crazy, and I think it's time to take that out of some people. Doghouse, doghouse, doghouse. Doghouse. Activate the doghouse. And there we are. The pint sized slasher. So, yeah. This has been your Funky Honky with Let's Play. Fallout 3, so 10 part 6, stay tuned for part 7, where we will go on a rampage, and I hope that you will stick around for next time. <laughs>